Hello literature lovers, today I am discussing literature from 1900s and want to talk about few important works starting from the 20th century. Now starting with the scene, how 20th century was evolved and the historical background need to be understood. It's after the first world war, how London was there, how the economic and scientific development was there at that time and not to forget the political lifestyle and the large number of Jew migrants were flowing because of Germany during the 1930s they also unsettled the environment not talking about some of the economic aspects because of the great depression that fall down in 1930s that also affected literature Next comes the art. The artists were very different at that time because of their socio-economic status. Things get changed. Now what can be the social change? And because of the condition, manpower was there, technical development was there. And these are the few important points to be remembered if you are trying to understand literature. All these aspects will also affect you in greater context. Now starting with the literature aspect. At that time theater and drama was there since other things were started developing and now comes G.B. Shaw the only Nobel laureate who also won Oscars for his movie Pygmalion. Next comes J. M. Singh, my personal favorite, Somerset Morgan, J. B. Priestley, Noel Coward, and Sean O'Casey all belong to Ireland. So they all have special techniques of Ireland. Now talking about poets at the end of the Victorian age and very famous one J.M. Hopkins and Thomas Hardy. Next talking about A. E. Hughes man. Really very popular. Now comes another genre that is the first world war poetry and the poets were T. E. Hume, Edmund Clinton, Wilfred Owen, Thomas Edward Thomas, Isaac Rosenberg and T.S. Eliot who also won Nobel Prize and another Nobel Laureate W.B. Yeats. Next talking about the Georgian poetry and the explanation is given here and all the poets related to it. Next talking about poets after Eliot since Eliot really changed it. And the 30s poet were also quite famous because of this group, the Max Pondy group, and which also called the Pylons. So this was another aspect. Not talking about the novel since it really got a great fuss. These are the works and all are very famous. And my personal favorite is Brave New World. That really took great deal of it. Joseph Conrad really took. Now talking about music, how music really affected at that era. And chamber music is in the form of the classical music. With the Rainbow, a very famous work by D.H. Lawrence. That is also quite banned in most many of the countries because of it. Orlando, it's by Virginia Woolf, very famous work. Brave New World, I have already talked about it. And especially the futuristic aspect of it, how test tube babies are formed. It really... Another very famous author, Elder Saxley, no doubt about his work. 
Evelyn Waugh, very special work is Decline and Fall. All these are part of this 19th, 20th century. Another, some less renowned works are also mentioned, but really part of this literary period are mentioned here. And that include Goodbye to Berlin by Christopher Isherwood and not to forget Somerset Maugham and his first work. Next comes P.D. Woodhouse, another very famous work. Thus we can summarize all these works all together. That's all for today. Thanks for listening. Do subscribe the channel for more such content. Thank you.